Hey guys, welcome back again in JavaScript tutorial. In the previous video, we learned what is JavaScript, history of JavaScript, what is ECMAScript, and what is ES6. Now, in this lecture, we will create our first JavaScript program with Hello World. Now, the first thing you just need to write JavaScript program is browser and text editor. We need text editor to write a program of JavaScript and to run that program we need browser. There are different free browser in the market so you can download it and install in your computer. You can use notepad as an editor but there are more powerful editor available in the market. Just like brackets, atom, sublime text, visual studio code and notepad plus plus etc. In the whole JavaScript tutorial series we are using Visual Studio Code text editor. This editor is very powerful and has a new features just like auto completion, syntax highlighting, brackets matching, code folding and so on. After that we will also take a look how to create a comment in JavaScript code. Comment are used to specify code explanation. If you are or your fellow programmer need to know what's going on in the code then comment will help you to describe what is happening. Most programmers use comment for documentation. We will discuss how to write a single line comment and a multi line comment. To install editor in your computer, just go to Visual Studio Code website. And from here, download the Visual Studio Code as per your system. I am using Windows 7 so I will download the 64-bit version. I already downloaded and installed it in my computer. So now you just need to download and install this Visual Studio Code in your computer. After installation, open Visual Studio Code. And install very important extension, Live Server. To see live result of your project, this extension is very helpful. So just go to extension tab from here and search for live server. Install this extension in Visual Studio Code and reload it. Now just click on the explorer project. We first need to create an empty folder in computer. So we first create an empty folder on desktop. You are free to choose your own location to create a new folder. So to create a folder, I will right click here and select a new folder and name this folder JavaScript. Now I just wanted to open this folder in Visual Studio Code. So I will click on the open folder button and select my empty folder, right? Now your project is ready to build. We will create our first JavaScript file. To create a file in Visual Studio Code, you can click on this icon or you can go to the file menu and select a new file. There is one more way to create a new file. Just right click in the explorer and select new file. But I will choose the first method to create a new file. So I will click on this icon and specify name for this file. So I will just say index.html and press enter. Now index file is created. In this file we first create a simple html5 snippet. To create a quick snippet just type exclamation mark and press tab. Now you have a simple html5 snippet with html, head, title and body types. I will just change my title and specify JavaScript here. To insert a content in the HTML document, we specify element in the body tag. The same way JavaScript work. But you can specify JavaScript in the head also. But this is not recommended to use a JavaScript in the head because JavaScript will execute before the document object model. 
We will talk about a document object model in the subsequent lectures. But now, just keep in mind specified JavaScript file in the bottom of the page before the closing body tag. So if you execute JavaScript code before HTML element completely loaded, then you will get an error message. So we will create a script tag in the body section before the closing body tag here. We use script tag to specify JavaScript code in the HTML file. Just like you are using the style tag in HTML document to specify CSS code, cascading style sheet code. Using script, you tell the browser that this is script tag and I am inserting a JavaScript code inside of this script tag. So the browser will take this code as JavaScript code. Now to print a message on console, we will write in the script tag console.log and in the parenthesis we specify a message which we wanted to display. So in the parenthesis we specify double quotes. To tell the browser this is a string, we use double quotes. You can use single quote also to specify a string. Console.log is a function that print a message on the console. So I will just say hello word here and just save the document. Now to describe what we had done here, we are inserting a comment. To insert a single line comment, you can use two forward slashes and specify your comment. To create a multi-line comment, you can use forward slash and asterisk and end with asterisk and a forward slash like this and specify your multi-line comment here. Now to execute this file, right click on the HTML file and select open with live server. This will open your browser and you will see live result of your project. But wait, where is your message? If you read the code carefully, then you will see we print this message on the console. To see your message, right click here and select inspect. Now on the right side of the screen, you will see the element tab. Click on the console tab. That's it. Now this is your hello world text. Now you can print anything here. You can print your number, your name, your birth date and anything. That's it. Now you know how to install editor in your local computer and how to print a message in JavaScript. In the next lecture, we will move forward and learn data types in JavaScript. That is all for now. We will see you in the next lecture.